Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 19th of 2021, well, it is titled Bright Meteor Starry Sky. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the Perseid meteors from about a week ago that occurred. Now, Perseid meteors are material left over from behind from a comet. And this is Comet Swift-Tuttle, which passes through the inner solar system and then leaves material behind. So even though the comet is not behind, some of its material remains and it follows the same orbit as the comet. So essentially, the path that the comet follows is littered with all types of little bits of debris, grains of sand and bits of ice that are left behind. And when Earth happens to pass through that orbit, it will collect those bits of material. They will strike Earth's atmosphere and will then burn up. And that's what we're seeing it vaporizing here. Now this is a relatively larger one and we can see the large burst of vaporization that occurred at one point there uh, towards the left side of this. Now as we see it pass through the atmosphere, we see it in the direction of two rather bright stars, one off to the right hand side and one off to the left. And those are the stars of Deneb on the right hand side off to the edge where the comet, uh, where the meteor trail starts just up above it and then it ends down and passes pointing in the direction that would be below the star Altair. Now these are two stars very prominent in the evening sky right now and are what is known as part of this summer triangle and that is three rather bright stars that form a large triangle in the sky. And these are an example of what is called an asterism. The summer triangle is not a constellation. It actually is, consists of three bright stars in three different constellations. And that is an example of a bright combination of stars we call an asterism. Now, they're not specifically constellations. And in fact, they can be in multiple constellations or they can be in a single constellation. Another example would be the Big Dipper. Big Dipper itself is not a constellation, but is part of Ursa Major or the Great Bear, but is just a portion of it in those relatively bright stars that we see. So here today we get to see a uh, meteor flashing through part of the summer triangle as it goes across the sky. So that was our picture of the day for August the 19th of 2021. It was titled Bright Meteor Starry Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be three dark nights. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.